Hello again. Welcome back to Introducing Persistence. This lesson is going to be great. We've got all the pieces in place to save our My Library objects to XML files. Now we just have to put the pieces together to write our XML convert methods. First, we'll write a test method that tests the entire process of saving a My Library object to a text file and getting it back. Then we'll write the actual save and get methods. Finally, we'll test that our new methods work correctly. We'll open the My Utilities Test class for editing and go to the end of the file. Be careful about the curly braces. And we'll write the test method as follows. First, we'll write the method header using the at test annotation so that the JUnit test runner knows that this is a JUnit test. So it's at test public void save to XML file. Then we'll create our standard test library, my library, start my library, equals create my library. It's just using our method to create a library quickly. Then we'll create a string file name equals test my library dot XML. So this is the name of our test XML file. Then we're going to create a file object with that file name. Then we're going to copy some lines of code from an earlier test method. We'll cop go up and copy these two lines of code and paste them in. And this is just going to delete the test file and make sure that it doesn't exist. Now we're going to run our new method inside an assert statement so its file should have been saved. And then it's my utilities, and now be careful typing because this method doesn't exist. My utilities dot save my library to XML file, and then put in the parentheses and make sure to get inside the parentheses. And then the two arguments are file name, comma, and then start my library, and then move outside the parentheses to do the semicolon. So that's going to run the method and assert that it returns a true value. Then we're going to say my library and my library equals, and again we're going to use a new method, get my library from XML file, and this just has one argument, which is the file name. And finally, we're going to copy some more lines of code. We're going to copy these assert equals that we did in the previous test method and use those same assert equals statements down here and we'll save our file. This method is similar to our previous test methods. We create a My Library object, then we delete any old version of the file to make sure we're testing on a file we know about. Then inside this assert true, we save our start my library object using our new save my library to XML file method. And that method returns a boolean because it's inside an assert true. And it takes two arguments, file name and the my library object. Then we create a new my library object called nmylibrary using the other new method, get my library from XML file. And that just has the one argument, which is the file name. And then we use these same assert equal statements that we used above to check that the end my library object has the contents that we expect. At this point, we're ready to write the save and get methods and test the entire process of saving our my library objects to an XML file. So let's write the methods. First, we'll use quick fix to create the method stubs just like we've done in the past. So we'll click on the save, control 1, create method. It creates the first method in my utilities. We'll save that, go back. Now that error is gone. Click on the second one, Control-1, Create Method. We'll save. And now this compiles cleanly and we're ready to start. So let's start with the Save method. First again, we'll clean up 
the parameter name, just call it ML. Then after all this work, this method is going to be one line of code as follows. Return save string to file file name and then for the save string we do convert to XML ML. So this is how we put the two methods together. We use the convert to XML method to convert my library to an XML string and then that is an argument in the save string to file method that we wrote earlier to save that to a file given by file name. So the method for get my library from XML is very similar. Here we return convert from XML and then the argument is get string from file file name. So again we're using the get string from file to get the string from this file name and then we're passing it to the method that converts it from an XML string to a my library object. Now let's test our new methods. We'll go to the my utilities test double click here go run run as JUnit test and everything passes. At this point we have working methods that let us save our my library objects to XML files and then get them back from the files. In the next lesson We'll use the Eclipse XML editor to examine our XML file. Then we'll look at some options in the Xtreme library. Then we'll look at a really handy feature in Eclipse that allows us to compare different versions of a file. This is the end of Lesson 8. I'm Mark Dexter saying so long for now.